Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined today uh, for the Global Symposium for Regulators 2018 with Mr. Bokar Bar, who is CEO of uh, Samina Telecommunications Council and CRO Chair. Bokar, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the fact that you, being a chair of the CRO, uh, today you moderated the first meeting of the Industry Advisory Group for Development Issues, also known as YAGDI. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what, uh, what the, the, work of, uh, the work of YAGDI uh, is uh, and basically the importance of it within this context. Yeah, as, as you mentioned, it was a very important meeting because uh, that was the first meeting of the Industry Advisory Group for Development Issue. Now, what EAGD is about, EAGD is a, a platform that has been adopted in uh, Buenos Aires at the WTDC in Argentina and uh, uh, through a resolution um, endorsed by the member state, about, it's about fostering and uh, uh, giving more strength to the private sector. We used to have the CRO, which is still there, and CRO is meant to be a platform for identifying regulatory barriers and impediment. EAGD will leverage the output of the CRO, but at the same time will focus much more on the developmental aspect for the ICT worldwide. So uh, we have conducted some good discussion it was the first meeting very, very well populated. We had some member state, government and private sector, and we have kicked off successfully the meeting this morning. What were you looking to achieve today? What were the outcomes? The outcome will be uh, announced uh, in a couple of days at the closing of the GSR, but basically on a nutshell, the idea number one is we need, by any mean, we need to connect the other three billion. So we have to connect the entire population of the world. How do we go about that? That will be the work of the uh, EAGD, but that's the first outcome. And we all agreed on connecting the non-connected uh, people. That's number one. It will generate more business. I think it's going to be good on the agenda of the government. It will fulfill the objective of the sustainable development goal of the United Nations. But at the second time, it's extremely important with the uh, fast evolution of the technology to place the human at the center of the debate. Uh, as I mentioned this morning in my meeting, uh, when we talk about the human, government are talking about consumer, uh, private sector is talking about customer, and actually the consumer and the customer are the same individual. So we need to center, given the arrival of artificial intelligence, of algorithm uh, uh, regulation, uh, IoT, human has to be at the center of the debate. These are the two main outcomes. How much of a difference can an advisory group like this make, do you think? Well, the objective is to educate, to come up with some information, knowledge sharing, and to give perspective from the private sector to the government, because we are heading into the next generation of regulation. Uh, the fourth industrial revolution is already here. It's extremely important that we engage on a very strong collaboration with the government, so uh, we will be able uh, to build those so-called digital economy without harming human people. Is there a spirit of cooperation do you, amongst the government and industry then? Absolutely, definitely. This I can confirm there is a spirit of negotiation and uh, the old days are gone. Now, how do we engage into that collaboration? It could be through capacity building, it could be bringing government up to speed, it could be uh, presenting to them the uh, future advancement of the technology because they have to be in a position to make uh, crucial decisions and they cannot afford the mistakes. So it's our role as a private sector to uh, shed the lights on where the innovation is uh, going on, 
what are the technological advancement, what are the benefits for the population and the society, and the business has to be oriented socio-economic. Finally, let's talk about GSR. This is not your first time at uh, an ITU event, and I'm not sure not a G GSR either, but I just wanted to just talk to you about uh, this, this particular one, what your, your feelings are about it. It's, it's just right at the beginning here, but uh, just really wanted to see if uh, you uh, felt a different perspective this year. Well, we are addressing some very important themes because uh, one of the key themes coming back always is artificial intelligence. And uh, artificial intelligence will be a key uh, element into this uh, digital development. Now, uh, I'm very happy to see that uh, ITU has placed this subject at the forefront of the debates and we need to come as a multi-stakeholder platform. We, we have to give our perspective not only from the private sector but also from the international organization, uh, academia, government. Objectives are different. However, we can collaborate, different objectives, but going through the same path to make sure that uh, the consumer, the customer, the human will not be hindered by this technological evolution. And I'm very happy to see this GSR happening in Geneva. We are witnessing much more people in uh, Switzerland in the center of the, of the world. So I think it's a good gathering. Sure, thank you very much. Anytime. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Thank again. you. Thanks. And uh, don't forget to tune in to uh, the ITU YouTube channel and the ITU SoundCloud channel as well for more exciting and interesting interviews like this one. Thank you.